Hey everybody, welcome back again. James here with you on All About Air Guns. As always, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe below if you haven't already and leave a comment. I truly appreciate it. Let's get into today's video because I think you're going to find it very interesting. So let's do it. All right, guys. So this video stemmed from questions and concerns I've been getting about my Air Venturi Avenger on how fast it's shooting with the standard Diabolo pellet. And if you didn't watch my out of the box video or my pellet testing video on STKO about my Air Venturi Avenger and 22 caliber, you know that it's shooting the 1589 grain JSB FX pellets over 900 feet per second. And a lot of people were saying that, you know, you hear a lot of stuff and the, there's a sweet spot for those types of pellets, the dome Diabolo shaped pellets. And I, I can't believe it really because for one, stability is number one down range, no matter what. And in this video, guys, I want to show you of me taking this and shooting at 50 yards again and at 100 in the same shooting conditions of 32 degrees Fahrenheit and in 15 mile an hour winds. Now, let me go through what I did here to get it. This is right now, currently, I tuned it up. I shot it at more FPS. It's shooting at 955 feet per second now on average with the 1589 grain JSB pellets. And to get it to that point, I turned the regulator up to 2000 PSI and screwed the hammer spring in one full turn. And on top of that, I'm using the CARM magazine with the center point three, the nine by 32 scope, middle dot reticle and shooting through my side shot. So now I wanna show you the 50 yard shot group with this Air Venturi Avenger shooting at 955 feet per second. Ooh, 50 yards down. So here's that target as you can see. They're not bad. Like this. Shooting a hair to the left of bull here. Five shots, just pulling some off, aiming dead center of the bullseye, and shooting some pellets. As you can see, two on the outside and three pretty much almost in the same hole there. Not bad, let's take it up to 100 and see if the pellet speed really is that big of a deal. So let me show you at 100 now.
So here is the target that you see, the last four shots that I got it dialed in at 100 yards. And there's a reason why there's three shots over here that I covered up. And I'll get into that in a later video because I found something out about the Air Venturi Avenger. Uh, if you heard me at the first portion of this video talking about the specs of the rifle, how I changed the regulator to 2000 PSI and full, did one full turn on the hammer spring to increase the velocity. Again, I'll make another video on that topic as to why the shots were on the outside here. I had to, even though you see me aim dead center of the bull, I had to adjust something and you're not going to believe what it was. Um, but you can see on target, 15 mile an hour winds and the groups, this 100 yard shot group is about an inch, which is awesome. 15 mile an hour winds, 955 feet per second at the muzzle, guys. That is pretty good. Even though I've got it to shoot better, uh, there's a reason why I had to. I had got it this small. Um, again, I'll go into that in a, later. But you can see the group at, again, velocity does not matter, is irrelevant. Because I've shot in the past video uh, with my crawl, lower than 500 feet per second the only thing again that i have found is the trajectory changes that's it with the lower velocity if you're shooting the right pellet again which trumps everything the only thing that should be messed with is the vertical and as you can see here same exact center of group on both targets this one's at 50 and this one's at 100. that is awesome so Pellet velocity does not matter, guys, if you're shooting the right pellet. I don't know who came up with that number or range for FPS, but the king didn't, the king of air guns. So, uh, again, if you know how to read the rifling and find the correct pellet, or if you just stumble upon it, you can do amazing things, guys. So, again, I'm going to elaborate real quick as to why the three shots are on the outside here, and I covered them up. So, real quick... Again, I'm going to make a separate video on this, but I found something out. You've seen me aim dead center of the bull and, and got this, be able to produce this size group. There was a reason for that. And again, as I mentioned previously, I had to turn the hammer spring one full turn to get the pellets to shoot this fast. I could have probably messed with the regulator, but I wanted to mess with the hammer spring too. And I caught something. And you're not going to believe it. So I'm just going to give you guys a clue. And I'll tell you what that is. So if you sit there and screw your hammer spring in to tighten it up, you're adding more pressure, right, on the hammer. The hammer then hits the valve. That's the actual load on the hammer before it's even fired. Well, guess what? Guess what's touching the hammer, guys? The trigger the sear, all that stuff. So if you increase the power on the hammer, the tension on the hammer, you're increasing the tension on the trigger too. And I found that out. I had to sit here, and as you've heard me in past videos about brake burls, how coil spring guns have the coil in them and you cock them and you're pulling against that full, you know, coiled spring itself when you pull a trigger, the same effect. I had to basically aim dead center and then jerk the trigger. I got it set and then just pulled it. I didn't sit there and squeeze, 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 and then hope it went off. That's what happened with these three at 100 yards. So jerking the trigger helped me out at this range. And as you can see, identical point of impact. It's just the group size that opened up because of the range. And then me being the shooter on top of that, fighting the, out in the wind, in the open. Not so much the pellet. That is awesome. 15.89 grain, guys, at 100 yards. About an inch group, and I know I could do better. So, in short, guys, does the velocity really matter? Not, a, not at all. Velocity is irrelevant if you're using the correct pellet, in which I've showed you guys on how to choose the right pellet with your air gun. I've showed you the video on how to read the rifling with the crawl and said why the JSBs worked in that gun. So they work well in the Air Venturi Avenger 22 cal also. 
So as always guys, I hope you got something from this video and whatever you hear, always test it out for yourself because I myself always find whatever rumor or whatever it is that you've heard, I, I always contradict that. And again, if I could read rifling and pick the pellet for all my guns, this gun is shooting awesome. 100 yards and 15 mile an hour wind and shooting just a hair over an inch group. I'll take that all day long, guys. And as always, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe below if you haven't already. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks again.